Isn't he cute? Don't you just want to pinch those cheeks? My name is Mike Zullo. I'm here on behalf of Sheriff Joe Arpaio. I am Sheriff Arpaio's lead investigator on the Barack Obama eligibility issue. Um, I was scheduled to talk to you for about 15 minutes, but uh, I am going to be the guy to compress the time because I have been graciously given two times to present tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock. Let me start off by telling you after 21 months now, 2,200 hours alone on the birth certificate itself, Sheriff Arpaio made an announcement in Maricopa County in March 2012 that we had probable cause to believe the birth certificate presented via the web and at a press conference purported to be, by Barack Obama, to be his official birth record, proof positive of his birth in Hawaii, to be a 100% forgery. We continued after that. We have worked tirelessly on this document, if you want to call it that. It is not a document. It is a PDF file. It is a computer generated image. It is not a birth certificate. You can't use it to get into Little League. You can't use it to get a social security card. You can't take it into a courtroom and use it as proof of your identification. It is absolutely nothing. And the President of the United States stood before the American people and offered them nothing. That picture over there, and you'll hear this, and I'm sure you people that, f that follow this, hear about these birth announcements that were in the newspaper, and they throw that up as some kind of evidence of where he was born. I'm going to tell you now, those birth certificates, uh, excuse me, those birth announcements are nothing. They prove nothing. All they prove is somebody reported a birth. It doesn't tell you where that individual was born. It doesn't tell you who the father was. It doesn't tell you much. It tells you that someone reported a birth event. So in order to save time, because I, I know that they have other people that they want to get up here, tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, I am going to be pre presenting a general overview of where we are from when we started this investigation to now. And that's for the general population. 11 o'clock tomorrow is going to be a second presentation. That presentation is for law enforcement only, state or local representatives, attorneys that understand, obviously, confidentiality. Sheriff Arpaio has given me authorization to release our evidence that has never been released before to this group. Credentials will be checked at the door. When I am done showing you what we have, you will realize that this is not a birther issue, that this is not a conspiracy theory. This is fact. The document is a fraud. And after hearing what some of these people were saying here this afternoon about unlawful detentions and TSA, I can make a biblical reference for you too. Go into the Bible, look at any king, you can trace the lineage. I can't do that here. This is the only president, to my knowledge, sitting in the White House that has four aliases. Barack Hussein Obama, Barry Obama, Barry Satoro, and Zoe Barca. I don't know what a Zoe Barca is, but it was on a passport. That's four that I know of. Let me leave you with some things to think about in case you're thinking about sleeping in and maybe not coming to my presentation tomorrow. I don't know who that is. How do you know who Mr. Obama's father is? How do you know who Mr. Obama's mother is? You've been told. And they put a handful of pictures of people standing together, and that's what they tell you it is. But the truth is you don't know. The truth is we can't do a background check that takes us far enough to confirm any of it. That individual sitting in that White House today could not pass a background check for any of your departments. That's a scary thing. If there's something that we can do now, we can do it together. And Sheriff Arpaio took this fight on, and I am going to be 100% candid with you. 
when he gave me this, he looked at me, he goes, Mike, I don't think there's anything here. Let's clear this so we can clear the president and move the country forward. This is no good. It was about seven, 17, 20 hours later, I had to call him and said, Sheriff, I think we may have a problem. And about three weeks later, I had to give him the bad news that we did have a problem. This thing was a forgery. Our work has been checked off and verified by a certified forensic document examiner who's testified in numerous trials as an expert. And at the end of his report, a 40-page report, he says in 20 years of seeing all kinds of documents, he has never seen anything so seriously flawed that in his opinion, this birth certificate is a complete fabrication. Now you have to ask yourself, that's a felony. If any of you went and tried to make a birth certificate, that's a felony. If any of you took that birth certificate and tried to pass it off for gain, that's a felony. If you took that birth certificate, you created it, and you put it on the White House website, that's a felony. I don't know, how many more felonies do we need? There's a problem here, people. And I think together we can move forward and advance this. In that law enforcement meeting, I am encouraging everybody here that has a badge, Everybody here that I know are brave enough to kick doors and take down a bad guy, come and let me show you what we've discovered. It will leave you breathless, it will leave you upset, and it will send a chill down your spine. Because when you can't do a background check on the most powerful man in the country, we have a bad problem. There is no agency that vets the President of the United States. It is left up to the opposing party. It's left up to the Constitution. And it's left up to the media. That's it. That came directly from Washington. Nobody vets a presidential candidate. We need your help. Sheriff Arpaio really put it out there. And he wants to advance this now. He can't let it go. So I'm going to ask you tomorrow to please join us. If you're not up to speed as to where we are, please come at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then please, if you are a credentialed law enforcement state representative attorney, please meet us at 11 o'clock because you're going to get an eyeful. All right, I want to give my time over because I know they're trying to catch up here. So thank you for your time. And I don't know who that is.